I thought late into the night, thinking about where it started and where it ended, at least for now, regarding 2001 to 2016. Before that, of course, Throwbots were testing the water, Slicer, if you're from that area. Definitely count as buildable action figures. Various form factors were attempted, but they all share the idea of a buildable action figure. <laughs> Essentially, in the beginning, we had bipedal creatures in the form of the Toa, as well as the Turaga debuting in 2001. They had the mechanical gears brought over from Throwbots. That all went really well. As a kid, I never thought how limited they were compared to a standard action figure. But perfectionism is not in my mentality. Didn't care the knees did not bend, nor the elbows, and specifically the head. It was hard to even consider these action figures with my childish mind at that point. But that really plays into the mentality I have toward Bionicle and Lego. This truly felt outside of the norm. Like I barely ever consider Lord of the Rings to be a fantasy piece. It just feels so far out of proportion. And in 2010, had a return to about six to seven inch action figures. Again, they were only $7 as they were in 2001. It's the articulation you expect from the original. Though I do appreciate the head being a ball joint, this of course would play into Hero Factory a year later. The base sets, to my knowledge, had a very simple build. I like to think of this design as very solidified. We don't have the axles and pegs from that era. We also didn't have the gears, but I can't complain. Brighter color, beautiful, little aesthetic, solid figure, which also plays into the appreciation in 2015 and 16. Mm -hmm. It really blends both. We have the articulation on every joint, but also the use of gears. Very complex figure. And this incarnation of Tahu here, absolutely massive. The system introduced with Hero Factory in 2011 is where Bionicle picked up in 2015. Still enjoy the name Constractor, really fits these the best, but I'd say this is the most refined version we've had. They are totally compatible with Technic as we know it, but the big focus was the articulation in the ball joints and sockets. Really makes for an incredible toy. It was a lot easier for kids to pick it up in comparison, the younger ones specifically, because demographic of Bionicle in the beginning was 6 to 16, but the mechanics are still very involved using the gears and the pieces we know of from the beginning. This is really the last time LEGO had their own action figure line. As of now, construction in this particular build that began the previous decade, it's used for alternate versions of other sets such as Star Wars figures. That's the primary example I see them used for. Truly wish we could have an independent line again, something of its own to separate itself from Lego, the way the build separates itself from the traditional Lego system. But Lego is now the second largest toy company. But that does remind me of an incredible thing that I discovered at Maya recently. Check this out. Indeed, collaboration of the two largest toy companies on the planet, Lego and Hasbro. This is a fully transforming Lego figure. I feel I should buy this myself even if it's not in the budget right now, but it's one of the greatest collaborations I've seen. Christmas is approaching, and I got my eyes on this. This week, I'm not able to devote myself to an extensive video, but so far I've moved all the figures into the new treasury. This is the space. The majority of that is all Lego, not just Bionicle alone. Like the original treasury, this has no heating or air conditioning, and I'm okay with that. Less circulation, counts for a lot less dust to accumulate. I don't even know when I'll start unpacking. It's more of a concern of space right now. Like these two piles here, not even mine, it's the previous owner. So I'm just gonna sort that elsewhere. But this room has a lot more space than the original treasury. Once everything is properly organized, I can put up some new shelves. I've been on Facebook Marketplace and there is more than enough options out there at very affordable prices. But I'm going for minimal style. I really want the figures to grab the attention. My GMA constructors there. And my Throwbot Super Set box. Gorgeous one. Little positive note, I'm going to a Comic Con this weekend, which will have plenty of vendors, and I will keep my eye out for anything Lego, specifically Bionicle. So if I have anything and discover any sets that are in my price range, 
I'll definitely feature them next week. But for now, this is Rated Exploited. I am Rokalai. Thanks for tuning in. Oh, my God.